So I got involved first with the Superfund basically through the choice of my thesis laboratory. And I think I, I didn't really understand the full breadth of the Superfund program when I was first a first year graduate student just trying to get a project going. Um, it wasn't really until I attended the 20th anniversary of the Superfund meeting, which was also in North Carolina. Um, as a first year graduate student that I was really in awe of the breadth of the research and really on board with wanting to be involved um, in the future of my graduate career. I was involved with Superfund Research Program through Duke University. We have um, a Superfund Center there and so some of my research was funded by the program. What I really appreciate and like Courtney I don't think I understood this as a trainee but was the the opportunities that being part of the program afforded us. So we had access to some of the best scientists in the country working on real issues regarding pollutants around the country and especially the, the most polluted areas around the country. I think the interdisciplinary training was really unique. Um, for me, I had I feel like I had so many more opportunities than most of the other grad students that were just on a more traditional track in terms of meetings and outreach and some of the things that I was involved in being interviewed on NPR about my research, which was, you know, a large part of the translation that took place through through the Dartmouth program. So I, I felt very uniquely positioned throughout grad school. The Superfund program really helped me as a scientist because it gave me the chance to have the mentorship that the scientists within the program offered to the trainees. It's Superfund is like a family and they really encourage and foster the development of the trainees. So as a as a trainee, I was able to attend several international meetings and meet several internationally recognized scientists, and they played a role in my career development. I really credit the SRP a lot for, for where I am today. I think the interdisciplinary training that's received through the SRP really creates a distinct breed of scientists that's able to function across many different levels and it really makes um, for a very successful career because of the experiences that, that you have through the training program. It's clear the Superfund Research Program, the, the scientists and, and center directors are very engaged and they're really looking to foster development of the trainees and I think that's a great foundation for anyone's career as long as that's the, the path that you choose to take. Right. I think finding a good research mentor is really critical to, to having success, finding someone whether it be a thesis advisor or, or anyone in your institution that's really going to foster and breed that passion and love of science within you and be interested in your career and your success is really, really critical.